Hi, it's Kerry here. Today I've chosen eight amazing sea creatures with interesting facts. Can you tell me how many times Dory swims past? The hammerhead shark is a very unusual looking shark. They use their wide set eyes to give them a better field of vision. The hammer shaped head has sensory organs that help them detect prey. It can even find stingrays buried in the sand. They also eat fish, crabs, lobsters and squid. The mouth is located on the underside of the head there. It has sharp triangular and serrated teeth. They are found in many temperate and tropical waters worldwide. They are grey brown to olive green on top with an off-white underside. Notice the extra tall pointed dorsal fins. Most hammerhead species are fairly small and are considered harmless to humans. They are agile in the water, swimming up to 25 miles or 40 kilometers per hour. Hammerhead sharks live in schools of 10 to 20 animals. The largest hammerhead can grow up to 20 feet, which is 6 meters in length and weigh up to 1,000 pounds or 450 kilograms, although smaller sizes are more common. Give a thumbs up if you like sea creatures. Hermit crab. I really like this model, it looks so good with the eyes on the stalks there. You can see the shell that it's using and the big front pincers there. The hermit crab is a small sized crustacean that is mainly found in coastal waters where there is more food and places to hide. The hermit crab has a soft underbody which it protects by carrying a shell on its back. Its shell belongs to another animal. As hermit crabs grow, they continue to find larger shells to live in. Hermit crabs are omnivores and eat pretty much anything they can find in the surrounding water. The Great White Shark. It has pale grey skin with a white belly, bullet shaped bodies and rows of up to 300 serrated triangular teeth. The Great White's light body colour helps camouflage it. They are found in the coastal waters of Australia, South Africa, California and the northeastern United States. Great White Shark encounters are rare but attacks are very serious when they happen. Their diet consists of small toothed whales. They like sea lions, seals, sea turtles, and carrion, which is dead animals. Great whites attack by propelling themselves at their prey with great speed. They take a single massive bite and drag their victims down into deeper water. Then they let go and the victim bleeds to death before being eaten. The Weedy Sea Dragon Sea dragons are able to blend in with the seaweed and kelp where they live. They are closely related to seahorses and pipefish. Sea dragons have very long thin snouts, slender trunks covered in bony rings and thin tails. They propel and steer themselves with small transparent dorsal and pectoral fins, although they like to tumble and drift in the current just like seaweed. 
Weed eats can grow up to 18 inches or 45 centimetres long. They are found in the coastal waters of South and East Australia. Sea dragon males are responsible for childbearing. Male sea dragons have a spongy brood patch on the underside of the tail where females deposit their bright pink eggs during mating. The eggs are fertilised during the transfer from the female to the male. The male incubates the eggs and carries them to term, releasing miniature sea dragons into the water after about four to six weeks. The Thresher Shark They're instantly recognisable by their extra long tail fin. This slender whip-like tail can be a deadly weapon used to herd, stun and kill the thresher shark's prey. Notice the pectoral fins are curved and tapered to a point and the snout is short and pointed. The eyes and jaws are relatively small but the sharp teeth are good for capturing slippery prey. It uses its unique tail fin to herd fish together in tight shoals and then stuns them with powerful swipes of the tail. Sometimes two threshers may cooperate in their attack, swimming around the school of fish in ever decreasing circles, then striking out with their tails before turning to swallow their stunned or dead victims. The loggerhead is named for its exceptionally large head and it has heavy strong jaws. The heart shaped carapace or shell is bony without ridges and has large non-overlapping rough scutes or scales. The colour varies from reddish brown with a yellowish brown plastron or breastplate. Front flippers are short and thick with two claws while the rear flippers can have two or three claws. The loggerhead sea turtle is omnivorous feeding mainly on bottom dwelling invertebrates like mollusks, crustaceans, horseshoe crabs, clams, mussels and other marine animals. The bonnet head shark is also known as the shovelhead shark. It is a type of hammerhead shark with a smooth rounded head. It is a harmless timid shark that is grey brown above and lighter on the underside with short pectoral fins and grows to about 3.3 feet which is one metre long. It has small sharp teeth in the front of the mouth for grabbing small fish and flat broad molars in the back that's for crushing crustaceans and mollusks. The bonnet head shark is a timid harmless shark and is found in the western Atlantic and eastern Pacific oceans in the surf zone, reefs and on sandy bottoms and in estuaries. They migrate to warm water in the winter and cooler water in the summer. Sounds like a good idea to me. Beluga whales are the smallest whale. They live in the coastal waters of the Arctic Ocean and in the subarctic regions. When ice starts to form, the belugas migrate south towards warmer water. They are easily recognised by their white skin and rounded forehead as they have no dorsal fin. Beluga feed on fish, crustaceans and worms. The whale is related to the tusk unicorn whale known as the narwhal. The beluga has a flexible neck that enables it to turn its head in all directions. Belugas generally live in small groups called pods. They are social animals and communicate using clicks, whistles and other sounds. They can also mimic a variety of other sounds. How many times did Dory swim past? I think this beluga has brought its whole family along. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews 
for more fun videos. See you again soon. For more dinosaur videos, click the picture. Please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.